What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Ultimax Professional 60 inch tripod I picked up using Amazon Prime for $17.95. It gets four out of five stars out of four customer reviews. Some of those reviews are saying pretty negative things about this tripod, like it breaks easily and not all that durable, but I've been making video for a long time now, for probably a few years now, so I know what I want in a tripod and what I don't want in a tripod, and so today I'm gonna to give you my honest review about what I think about it. Uh, I have this ongoing philosophy that if it's on this channel, I like the product and it's good enough to be here, so I'm a little bit skeptical about these reviews. Yeah, we're just gonna do an unboxing and a first impressions of it and pretty much take a look at it and give you guys a good idea of what this tripod entails. Now, tripods are usually very expensive. They're, they can range anywhere from between like $17, like the for the tripod we have here, and 150 to probably even more than that. So, Yes, I do understand people's complaints that it probably is a little bit on the cheaper side, but then again, you know, if you're just using this to set up and take still photos or video, and you're not really taking it out of the house like I, like me for instance, you know, I use, I buy tripods secondhand at the flea market. Uh, I think I have one new tripod. I spent about 70 bucks on it. It's a Manfrotto tripod. Uh, I like it, it works well, it's not professional by any means, it's good enough for the camera that I'm using it with. So yeah, I think for most of you, if you're shooting with like a little point and shoot, or maybe if you're shooting with an iPhone and you have the iPhone holder to maybe screw on top of it, this tripod should be perfect, it's only $17.95. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing and a first impression so I can give you my honest opinion on it. It's fully adjustable with locking legs, quick release mounting plate, built-in bubble level indicator, adjustable center pole with crank handle. It's got heavy duty center pole brace, foam padded legs, three section aluminum alloy legs. Yes, that is a tripod. Um, yeah, it's lightweight, it extends to 60 inches and folds to 25 and a half inches. So it is pretty convenient, it is portable. Uh, according to Amazon's website, it does come with a carrying case. Um, I think it just opens up like this. So we've got our Ultimax tripod here. By the way, uh, this is a brand new set. Uh, I'm actually filming in my dining room at the dining room table, so maybe we're gonna leave the kitchen behind. I don't know yet. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, should I go back to the kitchen or should I stay in the dining room? I actually like the dining room a little bit better. I've got this natural light coming in. I've got a nice wide open table here to unbox items on. So you get this um, pretty nice carrying case here with Ultimax on it. Um, it's okay quality. I, I can see it ripping or tearing with time, but let's go ahead and just open her up here. And uh, pull the tripod out of the protective cover or sleeve or whatever you want to call it, carrying case. And uh, we'll just go ahead and I don't want to scratch this wood table here. So we'll go ahead and pull this tripod out. So far, what I really like about it are these um, foam pads covering the legs. I really like that. Uh, that's not something that I have on my Manfrotto tripod that I just absolutely love. So it does have a removable ball head design. So you just flip open that little mechanism there and you're able to pull this out. Uh, what I actually don't like is this is kind of an older design. We'll tighten this in here like that. And what I mean by old design is you kind of have to mess around with this thing on the bottom here with that little screw on the bottom. And you can always tell a good tripod by how easy it is to operate. Uh, there's, some of them can actually be pretty sophisticated, but uh, it does have uh, pan and tilt capabilities. So everything seems to be really nicely in place here. Uh, if I actually unscrew this, little screw here. It allows me to pan it around. Uh, everything seems to be a pretty decent quality so far. I can lock it back into place. 
And if I want, uh, there's actually this handle on the back that screws in and out of place so you can tilt it up or down. Basically have the camera looking all the way down if you want. So yeah, let's go ahead and try that out and see if that uh, holds it into place, how well it stays into place here. Uh, it does feel a little bit cheap. I'm not going to lie to you. This is probably not the highest quality tripod you can buy. But like I was saying earlier, if you kind of want to just take a nice uh, still or, you know, take a nice video or a portrait or something like that, you can absolutely use this tripod. Uh, it does have an accessories hook, but the accessory hook is actually on the bottom of the tripod there. That's actually really helpful if it's a windy day out and you wanna hang your backpack off of it and keep the tripod into place. Overall, this tripod feels a little bit cheap, a little bit gimmicky. I think if you really want to take your photography to the next level, you should probably go with a tripod that is a little bit more heavy duty, that costs a little bit more. Like, you probably wanna spend around 69, 70 bucks. I've got a really nice Manfrotto tripod that I picked up at Best Buy for about 70 bucks. But I think for the most part, I do have to give it some credit because I am standing here talking to you guys using the tripod and basically, you know, enjoying it. And um, it works well so far. It's just a little bit cheap feeling. The plastic is not that great of quality on it. Travel convenience, yes, it does come with the travel pouch so you can take it basically anywhere and it does fold up. It's comfortably stable. Yes, it is comfortably stable. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it does pan and tilt very well and I have no problems with it. It also apparently has a bubble level indicator on the side here. Let me go ahead and just swivel it around and show you that bubble level indicator. It is uh, right here, if you guys can see that or not. And it is compatible with most DSLR cameras, so there's that. Uh, anyways, guys, I think if you're gonna use it with a heavy DSLR camera, definitely go for a more sturdy, heavy-duty tripod because let's say you want to take a really cool top-down photo and you've got the tripod like mounted like this and you have a really heavy camera on it. Currently, I'm just using a cheap little Panasonic Lumix camera for this demonstration, but yeah, for the most part, I think you're gonna want a more heavy-duty tripod if you've got a more heavy-duty camera. But for something like this, for a simple point-and-shoot like this, Panasonic Lumix here, which does record 4K video, by the way, and it's actually a fantastic camera. You're gonna want something a little bit more heavy duty, but if you're just gonna use this on special occasions, like for family gatherings and stuff to take portraits or family photos, like at Christmas time or Thanksgiving or Easter or whatever, uh, this is a great tripod to go with. That being said, because I picked it up using Amazon Prime, that makes it a convenience good for $17.95. Out of four reviews, it gets four stars. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions of the Ultimax Professional 60 inch tripod. My name is John. If you like this video, hit that like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.